Hey guys, how's it going? Richard here with Alien Bros, and I am back after a year, and I have to say, I am so sorry for disappearing on you guys, but a lot has happened. No, NASA didn't kill me off, nor did the CIA. I'm alive and well, and a lot of you guys have been asking where I'm at almost daily for the past year, and I very much appreciate all of your concerns. I have moved again, this time from West Virginia to Maryland, started a new job about a year ago, a new life really. Me and Claire also got married. A whole lot of family stuff in general has made it hard for me to post, and the biggest thing though is that I've been working 60 hours a week at a, you could call it still I guess newish job, but I started it a year ago. However, that does not mean that I haven't been keeping up with the UFO scene and continuing on my research on my own. And I have come across a lot of things and have plenty of my own experiences as well, which footage of will be posted on later dates. I wish I could say that I will be able to post every day again, but I am going to try to force myself to find the time to post and get back into YouTube and at the very least, you guys can expect new videos on the weekends, but I'll try also to post during the week as well, as much as I can really, and return to keeping you guys up to date on the latest UFO and extraterrestrial related news. Once I can get YouTube to the point that is producing as much as my current job, I'll proceed to make YouTube my full time job and post every day, however, monetization on YouTube has not been great, so I'll need all the support I can get from you guys to make that happen. I'll also be starting to live stream, most likely tomorrow, and I'll update on the English Alien Bros Facebook page and on our channel creator post to let you guys know if anything changes. All support is greatly appreciated and I thank you all who constantly posted and showed genuine concern for my well-being. It really does mean a lot to me. Anyway, let's get into the real meat of this video. Today I have a few incredible UFO sightings for you guys and some news that I am sure most of you have already heard about considering as I am recording it this video is currently number one trending on YouTube and that is the Joe Rogan talk with Edward Snowden. Even CNN has posted about this and I have a bit of a rebuttal to it as strange as that may sound and we will get into that at the end of the video. First, let's get into the UFO sightings I have for you guys and these are some truly incredible pieces of footage. The first one I have for you guys comes to us from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, a place I know all too well and have myself seen some strange things there, and was captured on October 22nd of 2019. It is pretty short because it was a Snapchat video, and there are some parts of this clip that are not relevant to the actual sighting, so I'll be sharing an edited version first, removing the irrelevant parts from the footage, and then immediately after, I'll go ahead and play through the unedited footage for you guys that are interested, and if you're not, then feel free to skip through the second playthrough. The footage shows some very strange multicolored lights in the sky, and it is just downright odd. We'll go ahead and analyze it and get into the witness's statement afterwards, so go ahead now and check out this footage. Okay, so before we start analyzing this clip, let's go ahead and read the witness's statement. The statement reads, I have a video of this event in Fort Lauderdale. There were rainbow lights flickering inside of a dark nimbus cloud off of the highway. Police were everywhere under the cloud and Blackhawks flew towards it. I have video proof. Traffic lights even were acting up. It caused an accident two blocks away from me and blocked traffic. Rainbow lights and police everywhere. Distorted radio contact and I couldn't hear my music or make phone calls. I was even struggling to take a video due to my phone malfunctioning. That is the end of the witness's statement. Alright guys, so there's definitely something strange going on in this clip. I've seen similar footage to these multicolored lights flashing before, and it is certainly some excellent footage to say the least. I can only say that I wish it was longer. The lights are definitely up in the cloud cover, and what is really strange is the beam of light going straight down to the ground. You could attempt to argue that this might be some sort of light being shined into the sky, but I would have to disagree with that idea based on how the light is in a completely thin straight line all the way up until it hits the clouds, and then seemingly expands and clearly shines through the clouds which are about 20,000 feet in the air which would be far too high up for any spotlight type source that I'm aware of. Although I would like to point out that I did not notice the Blackhawks that the guy was talking about in this video so I cannot say for certain uh, to his credibility 100% 
other than what I'm seeing in the footage that is clearly not doctored. If you guys have some proof of what this is though, then please let me know because I won't entirely rule anything out until I get a definitive answer. It looks more to me as if the lights are actually being beamed to the ground from something up in the clouds rather than being sent from the ground up. To be honest, it is really cool and almost looks like the colors of an aurora borealis. If you ask me though, something is definitely up in the clouds causing this, however, I'm not going to act like I know what it is because quite frankly I don't. I'll leave that much up to you guys to decide. I can only give my opinion and you guys should take it for what it's worth. My opinion on this though, well it kind of depends. If we take what the witness said into account, I would say this seems to be something otherworldly, maybe extraterrestrial, but I'm not stating that because I can't guarantee the witness's credibility. But excluding that, I would say it is simply unknown and if any of you guys in the Fort Lauderdale area have any clue what caused this or you have a theory on what this thing is, then let me know down in the comments. I will simply say that this is a UFO and by UFO I mean unidentified flying object, not not strictly extraterrestrial until we get further evidence indicating what this thing is and this is definitely some strange footage that has left me a little bit dumbfounded trying to find answers. I'd say scratching my head but after so many UFO videos if I dig any further at this point I'll probably hit my brain. But seriously, I know I have a lot of friends on here in the South Florida area that watch my videos, so if you guys have some info on this footage, or some footage of your own, then send it over to my email down in the video description, or just send it to the Alien Bros Facebook page. Or even better, if you personally know me, then send it to my personal Facebook. And if you do, you should already have it. Let's see what we can figure out with this thing. If you can debunk it, then please do so. I just want some more information. So moving on, we have another awesome piece of UFO footage, this time from Los Angeles, California, that was captured on October 20th of 2019. The footage shows a strange white orb hovering high in the sky, making some very strange maneuvers. I need to let you know ahead of time that there are two black spots on the camera lens that are clearly specks of dirt and not UFOs, and the focus is on the white orb in the sky. So do not confuse them or speculate on those two black spots as they are dirt spots and nothing more. The focus of this footage is solely on the white orb. Anyway, I'll go ahead now and play the footage for you guys and we can examine it more and read the witness's statement afterwards. Alright, now check out this footage. Yeah guys, so this is definitely some strange footage. The witness's statement was very short and states only, and I quote, a white orb shaped flying object with no wings or sound, which may be short, but does have one key detail that the video also confirms, and that is that there is absolutely no sound coming from this object. That combined with the fact that it looks entirely like a white orb, I believe allows us to rule out a drone entirely. This thing is clearly very high up in the sky and makes some very strange maneuvers. I am unaware of a human built aircraft that is capable of stopping entirely and then proceeding to fly again in the way that this object does. We have seen a lot of similar sightings on this channel and my longtime subscribers know exactly how common this sort of UFO is. For those of you that are new to this research, you'll see a lot of these over your time. However, rarely will they perform maneuvers in the way that this one does, nor will they be silent, which makes this sighting very intriguing to say the least and has left me wanting to know what it is that this person saw. It is entirely possible that this could be a military aircraft of some kind, however, I doubt that it's from here considering its maneuvering capabilities. And one more thing that is really awesome is actually the fact that he is able to pan off of it and the two specks of dirt on the camera lens provide significant reference points to prove that it is simply not a reflection off the camera lens. If any of you guys in Los Angeles saw the same thing or had more footage of it, please send it over to my email so we can try to figure out what this thing is. Alright, moving on, I have one final sighting to share with you guys before I get into the news, and this one is easily the best sighting of this entire video, and it comes to us from Jersey City in New Jersey and was captured on October 11, 2019. It shows multiple brightly lit UFOs hovering over the city, and you guys will just have to check it out for yourselves to see how awesome this footage is. I'll go ahead and play the video for you guys now, and we'll examine it more afterwards, alright? Now check out this footage. That is going 
tour not towards them but you can see it is passing behind them and this is actually moving while the other ones are static they're still there but they're very bright green red and one of them it has like a All right, now this one is just flat out incredible to say the least. It clearly shows five brightly lit objects that when examined closely appear to have multiple colors flashing from them just sitting in the sky stagnant. What is even more incredible is the fact that we have an airplane fly right underneath of them for reference which clearly shows that these are no planes or helicopters. What's even crazier though is the size of these objects compared to that airplane. They appear to be far larger even at a vast distance which helps us rule out drones entirely. That then begs the question, what is this? I highly doubt the military would be testing anything like this right over a large city like New Jersey, so I think it's safe to rule that out, which leaves me with only one plausible explanation that I believe these are quite possibly genuine extraterrestrial craft captured on video. The witness's statement on this reads, and I quote, five objects static in the sky, kept formation without changing, all of them similar in size, no sound, clearly observed from the 18th floor of my building. It's a rather short statement, and I could see why. Words really are not needed to explain just how incredible this footage is. The pixelation lets us know this is not likely to have been doctored in any way either. Truly a remarkable piece of footage. Take my opinion for what it's worth, but I do believe that there is a good chance that these are definitely UFOs, likely ET in origin. If any of my viewers out in Jersey witnessed this and got more footage of these objects, then please email it over to me and let me and everyone else know down in the comments what you believe these objects are. Please feel free to remain skeptical and try to debunk them, but as it stands, I may have just hit gray matter because I am truly scratching my head at this awesome footage. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get into today's news. So, as I'm sure many of you are already aware, Edward Snowden went on the Joe Rogan Show, and for those of you who don't know who Edward Snowden is, he is an ex-NSA worker that is currently living in Moscow on asylum because he exposed Project Prism to the world, which was a project based around the mass surveillance of every single person in the United States, no matter who you are or where you live. They have access to every phone call, email, text message, Facebook message, etc. that you have ever made. Supposedly, this was for national security purposes to monitor for Al-Qaeda and other terrorist organizations. However, it is certainly a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights in this country and is a severe violation of the average citizen's privacy. He is currently wanted for treason in this country, and I have to say, I have some serious respect for him for doing what he did, but what he said on the Joe Rogan Experience, which is a podcast slash YouTube show hosted by ex-Fear Factor host Joe Rogan and has millions, if not billions of plays, needs to be addressed. However, Joe is very into the topic of UFOs, so much so that he even did a three hour long interview with Bob Lazar a few weeks ago, which I thought was fantastic, and I really do like his show. However, during his interview with Snowden, he asked Snowden if he had seen any evidence relating to the government's involvement with UFOs, and his answer has got even CNN writing articles about what his response was. He claimed that he had access to everything that the government had in their classified systems, but there is a bit of a problem with his response since he did his whistleblowing back in May of 2013, and what he failed to mention was having any knowledge of ATIP which also made its way into the news in the mainstream media, seems to have entirely forgotten that the Department of Defense came out and admitted to their involvement with researching UFOs in December of 2017, along with two pieces of previously classified UFO footage, or as they call them, UAPs, taken in FLIR thermal by the F-17 fighter jets they have in the Air Force. The CNN article, which I cannot link in the description due to copyright, but will tell you the title of word for word so you can search it up yourself, is called, and I quote, Edward Snowden searches CIA's network for proof that aliens exist. Here's what he found. 
And in the article, they claim that this entirely debunks the government's involvement with UFOs and extraterrestrials. However, considering that he had all of this access, why did he not know about ATIP, aka, for those of you who don't know, the Advanced Aeronautical Threat Identification Program, which is a government black project program for investigating UFOs, or the fact that Robert Bigelow is storing UFO medals in his lab in Las Vegas, Nevada? Well, there is a simple answer to that one, my friends, and it is actually a two-part answer. The first, as Luis Elizondo said along with the bulk of UFO researchers for many years now, they keep these files separate from their digital database to prevent people like Edward Snowden that have no need to know about these things from finding out to the point where even the Pentagon's accounting department cannot account for the seven plus trillion dollars of taxpayer money that has gone missing into these black projects in the past 12 years. Second, and this is the more important part of all of it, the government has made it a habit to let private contractors immune to the Freedom of Information Act handle anything and everything relating to UFOs. We have discussed in many past videos that places such as Area 51 are government owned, but the people that operate there generally come in from outside companies in an attempt to keep it more secretive and away from the public. Even the security guards there work for Skunk Works, which is a completely separate security agency from anything government related, and for enough money, these companies keep their mouth shut because they know the public cannot do anything to make them talk. Another example being Robert Bigelow being funneled millions of dollars to investigate Skimwalker Ranch after being tasked by the government to buy it up and do research on it, not to mention this is the same Robert Bigelow that owns MUFON. It is now owned by Bigelow, but in reality, the government controls what truly goes on that Skinwalker Ranch investigation-wise. Snowden would have had no access to any of this data, because if he did, he would have already known about it way before the 2017 Department of Defense info drops. My message here for you guys is to take it for what it's worth and remember that Snowden really only had access to what the government wanted him to have access to, and in reality, he didn't have as much reach as he thinks he did. Hence, why he didn't expose these programs that alone cost many millions of taxpayer dollars, and the really big time ones are more likely to cost billions. Also, ATIP has been around for a very long time, at the very least since 2012, which is when Luis Elizondo claims to have started there, which is at least a year before Edward Snowden did his whistleblowing, so if he truly had access to everything he thought he did, then he most certainly would have known about these programs that most certainly do exist and have been confirmed by the government themselves to have existed, and more than likely they still do. For more detailed information on that topic, we have a bunch of past videos on the subject that you guys should go back and check out. I think the government most certainly is hiding knowledge on the UFO subject that they do not want the public to know about, and they have definitely had some form of contact with extraterrestrial beings for a very long time, at least since 1947. It is the only way to explain the huge leap in technological advances springing forth right after that year, and also the only way to explain how since then the government has had technologies 50 or more years advanced than anything the private sector or the citizens of this country know about. That technology tends to trickle down into public hands after it becomes declassified and the government feels it is no longer as good as their newly made technology and that the citizens of this country are ready to have it. But that is something we have discussed before and is a topic for another video entirely. I could make several videos on it. I highly recommend that you guys go and check out the Joe Rogan video with Snowden and the video with Bob Lazar as well as they are both really good and have some very interesting information in them that you may not have known about if you haven't already seen them. Let me know what you guys think about this video and my little rebuttal here down in the comments. I always love to hear what you guys have to say and it is the best way to get a free flow of ideas going. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today but stay tuned because there is a lot more coming and we will have it posted very soon. If you like the video then please don't forget to smash that like button on your way out. Out, share it, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. It really helps us out and it'll let you guys stay up to date by sending you a message straight to your inbox every time we upload a video. And you once again can stay on the up and up with all of the latest alternative news. And remember, you have to hit the bell button or YouTube will not notify you when our new videos come out. Unfortunately, it sometimes seems even if you do, they still may not notify you. So it may also be a good idea to bookmark the page and check back here frequently for new content as well. Unfortunately, just subscribing on YouTube is not enough these days, since YouTube seems to want to pick and choose the content that people see, but that will not stop us from moving forward. 
Also, if you want updates on when our videos will be coming out, then please go follow our Facebook page. The link is down in the video description. If you have some UFO footage or evidence that you would like us to feature on the channel, then please email it over to us or email us down in the description as well, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you guys want to help keep this channel going strong, buying some of our merch or donating even $1 a month to our Patreon would be extremely appreciated because YouTube isn't paying us, so this is all out of pocket for us. However, that won't be stopping us from posting, and I really am sorry for the year of silence. Hopefully, it will not be happening again anytime soon. Thanks again for your support, guys. It means a lot to us, and don't forget to browse the channel if you're new and get yourself up to speed. As always, I'm Richard with Alien Bros, and I'll see you guys again next video.